All right, Shalom. First talking for Moses always, I want to say, Call Hawaiian La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Radash. Though my honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And Shalom to you, Akim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Okay, so uh, the, the title of this lesson is going to be called The King of Kings and Lord of Lords is on his way. All right. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai is coming back to uh to uh to, to uh, take over, man. All right. He's, he's coming back in those chariots, all right, with the uh, uh the holy angels and those so-called UFOs to destroy Babylon, all right, and take out uh, uh Esau's militia, all right, and take out Esau himself, man. All right. Because last night I was watching a little bit of the movie um, Independence Day, aka ID Four with Will Smith. And, you know that that movie is basically about the war in heaven. All right, and uh, you know I just went through Spirit of Course through Spirit of Prophecy about Shmuel Shai. You know just to touch on, you know the fact, you know that Yahweh Shai is, is actually about to return and make his second coming, man. All right, the King of Kings, and you know Lord of Lords is on his way. The Conqueror is on his way, man. All right. Actually, that might be the title of this lesson. The conqueror is on his way, you know. But yeah, man, you know, hey, uh, these people that's out here, you know, living in folly, you know, that's living day by day, just going on with the system of Babylon and not, you know, uh, um, thinking twice about, uh, you know, America's downfall. They're going to get caught off guard, man. Just like how the movie ID4 and Independence Day, everybody was caught off guard. Okay, you had people, you know, playing basketball. You had, uh, you know, people, you had, I believe it was like bums arguing, something like that. Just people, just, you know, vain people, you know, doing vain things. All right. And what do you see? Long behold, you see uh, uh, that father ship or you see how it shot that, that great mountain. All right. You know, uh, as it says, book of edges. All right. The second edges. All right. Uh, um, that father ship come through those clouds, man. And once Yahweh Shai came, you know, uh, everybody stopped what they were doing and looked up because at that moment proved that everything that these people do in their puny lives is vain, man. All right. Nothing mattered, you know, uh, uh, after those uh, uh, chariots uh, cracked that cr uh, cracked those clouds, man. Nothing mattered, man. All right. So these folks out here are going to get blindsided by Yahweh Shai's return. You know, and there's so many scriptures running through my head, you know, that I want to get right now, you know. So, hey, man, just I'm going to let a lot of spirit to take over. And, you know, just uh, Lord's will, you on me edified through the spirit of poverty out by Shmuel Shai, you know. So, you ate through the spirit, I just, I just record, man, you know, so you gonna hop right into it. So, let me start with, uh, with Revelation, the first chapter. I'm writing the seventh verse. And it says, and behold, he come up with clouds. All right. Now, if you didn't know who that he's talking about, it's, it's, it's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the clouds are talking about the um, the so-called UFOs, you know, but in the scriptures, they're called chariots. Okay. And to prove that, you can go to the book of Acts. Let me see. You can go to the book of Acts, the first chapter. And you, you can go to the ninth verse and it says, and when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up. And that he, again, is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. So you can say he was taken up or Yahweh Shai was taken up. Okay. And it says, and the cloud received him out of their sight. Now, did it, when I was at an actual cloud? All right. No. All right, that was uh, uh this is uh you know a, a parable talk you know this is symbolic for a chariot, all right. It says and the cloud received him out of their sight. So today's in, in modern day terms, Yahweh Shai uh, would have been abducted by so called UFOs, man, in which he was, you know, for lack of better words, you know, according according to today's you know uh, uh um understanding of UFO uh, so called UFOs. Yahweh Shai got beamed up into a chariot, man. All right. And it says, and the cloud received him out of their sight. All right. And it says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men by them in white apparel 
and those two men were angels. Verse 11, uh, which also said, so this is the angel speaking to uh, Yahweh Shai's disciples. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like a manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So Yahweh Shai got beamed up, man. And a, 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 a holy chariot, <laughs> you know, and the uh, the chariots of Israel, man, that's our heritage. And just like the angel said to uh, Yahweh Shai's men, the same way he uh, he went up, the same way he's going to come back, man. And that's why he says, going back to Rev 1 and 7, that's why he says, let me get it real quickly, so like you. Rev 1 and verse 7, that's, it says, behold, he come with clouds. So the clouds is the chariots. And it says, and every eye shall see him, right, man? Just like the movie ID4, going back to the uh the scene when the uh the chariot clack, uh, cracked the uh the cloud, man. All right, every eye looked up. All right, Yahweh is gonna come back with uh 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 and uh and uh, uh, uh Yahweh's glory. All right, his his his, uh, his father's glory, also with the uh the angels of heaven, man. Those chariots, because in the psalm it says it says the chariots of the Lord. Are uh are thousands, okay? Roughly paraphrasing it, and it says, "And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall woe because of him. Even so, Amen." So people, man, they're gonna be bugging out, man. Okay, that's why if you go to the book of Luke, all right. Uh, uh, let me see. I believe it's the twenty-first chapter of the book of Luke, and. 28 verse i believe actually let me start up a little bit uh 25 luke 21 and 25 to verse 28 and it says and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves warring 26 men's heart failing them for fear Okay, and just like it said in Rev, it says that the uh, people are going to be well. All right. It says man's hearts filling them for fear. So people are going to be so bugged out and so, you know, just baffled, you know, at the sight of the chariot of Yahweh Shai, or should I say chariots? People are people are going to have heart attacks, you know, just like how people, they get so scared, they shit their pants or piss themselves. Okay, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be far worse than that to the point where people are gonna give up the ghost by way of heart attack, man. Okay. And it says, men's hearts filling them for fear, right? So <laughs> men's hearts filling them for fear, man. That's heavy. And looking and and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verse twenty seven, and then. Shall they see the son of man, who is Yahweh Shai, coming in a cloud? Hey, there goes the word cloud again. All right, so is Yahweh Shai going to come in an actual cloud? No. All right. The clouds is, is referring to the, the chariots of Israel. Okay. And it says, and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Right. Because it said, the scriptures say that it says that uh, Yahweh Shai is going to come in, uh, in uh, his father's glory. And basically, that means Yahweh Shai is going to come back, you know, uh, you know, in that, uh, uh, the uh, chariots, man. Okay. Verse 28, and it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw the nigh. Okay. And that's what, you know, and that's what, you know, us brothers do. Okay. Us hopefully let uh, Akim out there, you know, that, that our, you know, serve the Lord with all truth and sincerity. We constantly look up, man. All right, and we constantly, you know, uh, 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 see uh, chariots in the, in the uh the heavens, man. All right, it's countless videos of the Akim out there, you know, uh, posting videos of their uh testimony of seeing chariots, man. All right, this is the book of um Second Thessalonians, excuse me, First Thessalonians, five. I'm going to start at verse one to verse two. And it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Right. Because 
uh, uh, us men of Yahweh by Shema Shai, us prophets and servants. Okay, we know what the scriptures foretell. Okay, we know what's bound to happen according to the Holy Bible because of why? Because that's a prophecy. All right, so we know what's about to come. So there's, you know, even though we still eat our watchmen and, you know, and, and feed the sheep, the, you know, through spirit and prophecy by Shema Shai, you know, we're not, you know, in the dark. Okay, we're not in gross darkness. All right, so you know, so so we know what time it is. All right, we know the times that we're living in. But, but as for the rest of the people out here that's bugged out their damn minds, hey man, they're gonna get blindsided by a prophecy. All right, verse two, and it says, "For yourselves know perfectly." All right, right, man, we know. All right, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahweh Shai so cometh as a thief in the night. Now, now we don't know the day or hour, but we know that he's coming. All right. It's not a matter of if, but when, when your house coming back. All right. We don't know when he's coming, but we know that he's coming. All right. That's why we got to remain uh, diligent, remain watertight and steadfast. All right. And just continue to, you know, suffer for your by small shy sake, man. All right. Your shy is a man that he, your how by small shy is a man that he should not lie, man. Your shy is coming back. All right. And it says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night. Right, man? Because when a, when a, uh, when a, um, a thief is, you know, breaks to a house, you know, it's, it's, you know, he's not going to uh, warn you. He's not going to knock you door and say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, break through your house. Nah, man, he's going to come. He's going to, he's going to come when you least expect it. All right. And that's why a lot of Jakes are going to get caught with their pants down. Because right now, Yahabba Shema Shai has given you, you know, the liberty to repent, you know, by way of his prophets, starting off with the elder apostles and none down. Okay, but Jake don't want to take heed to the, the Lord's men. Okay, they want to still, you know, serve Esau, serve themselves and be slaves and here in captivity uh, in, uh, in America, Babylon, man. All right. That's why when Yahabba Shai comes back, the Lord's going to kill off a lot of you two thirds, man. All right. And you heathens, you two thirds are, de are heathens on this side, man, because you don't want to repent and come back to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. OK. And like in uh, Yahweh Shai is going to catch a lot of you Israelites off guard, man. All right. And it says. Um, yeah, for, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, you have Yahweh Shai. So cometh as a thief in the night. All right. Uh, let's get this real quick. This is Sirach. Um, let me see. Uh, Sirach five and verse seven. It says, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and end thy security." Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right, man. The day of vengeance is coming. It's slowly uh, coming, man. All right. Hey, man. You, you slowly but surely. Yahweh Shai is about to return. All right. Well, actually, I'll take that back because prophecy is speeding up. All right. Because this year, it's 2021, which was the uh, elder of Paus Sahar, he deemed this year to be the hastening of the day of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right. So, all right, so it's like I take that, that uh, what I said back, man. Okay, because hey man, a lot of you uh, Israelites are gonna uh, uh <laughs> gonna be destroyed, man, and be and be taken and be uh, caught off guard. A lot of you Jakes out here are gonna uh, uh perish in the day of vengeance, as the scriptures say, man. Okay, because the the uh, Lord of Lords is, is uh, on his way. The conqueror is coming back, man. Okay. This is Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of, of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, man. All right. Amen. The day of the Yahweh Shmuel Shai is near. All right. 
the day of Yahweh, the day of Yahweh's uh, return is very near, man. It's around the corner. Okay, we we are hasting for the return of our Lord, our Savior, our big brother Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai, my Shigat. All right, but once that day comes, it's not going to be a day of peaches and cream. It's not going to be a day of hugs and kisses and handouts. All right, it's going to be a day of uh, of making of uh, bringing out judgment and righteousness, man. All right. Yahweh Shmuel Shai is coming back to 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 uh to uh to destroy man, all right. That's why once you, when Yahweh Shai comes back and you know those clouds, man, you're gonna have these nations, you know, a uh, uh, waging or uh, waging war against Yahweh Shai and the angels, all right. And that's gonna be the the the, uh, the war in heaven, man, all right. And Yahweh Shai and, and, and Yahweh Shai is gonna win, all right. The conqueror is coming back, all right. You're gonna have you're gonna have chariots covering the clouds, man. It's going to be a very dark day, man. All right. It's going to be a very dark day. Man. People don't know what's about to come, man. People are sadly mistaken. This is Isaiah uh, 66 and verse 15. And it says, for behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames with fire. And what's that talking about? Talking about those laser beams, man. All right. Watch the movie Independence Day starring Will Smith. You know, you had the uh, the uh, chariot go over that building and, and uh, right in the top of it, it shot down the laser beam right down the middle. All right. Concentrated fire, man. All right. Verse 16, it says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with our flesh. Now, if you're going to word plead, it means judgment. All right. It means judge. Mashapat. All right. And it says, and the slain of the Lord, Shai, shall be many. All right. So this, so the day of the Lord, <laughs> you know, is not going to be, it's not going to be nice, man. It's going to be darkness, desolation, gloominess, trouble, distress. All right. But, but that's only going to be towards the wicked. All right. The elect, they're good. They're going to get beamed up. You know, they're going to be delivered. But as for the rest of the world, they're going to be, uh, they're going to get judged, man, uh, very utterly. Okay. King of Kings, real quick. I'm going to get this last scripture. We can end it off right here. So lock it. Bear with me real quick. This is Revelation 19 and verse 16. And it says, and he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings. Well, let me just let me, let me get the. Let me go up a little bit real quick. The damn phone, man. It's a lock here. This phone acting stupid, man. Technology is only good when it works. A relation 19 and verse. I'll get to the point 16. It says, and he hath on his vesture and in, and on his thigh name written king of kings and lord of lords. OK, and right. And that's when that's what's going to happen, because how is going to take down all these nations, man? All right. The, the, the scriptures say uh, 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 that uh, uh, he have many crowns in his head. Now, uh, does that mean actual multiple crowns in his head? No, that's just symbolic for, you know, how how, uh, uh, you know, how he's going to, you know, take over, you know, uh, uh, and, de and destroy these nations, man. All right. Because how shy once he, once he comes back, that's that it's a wrap. All right. How shy is, is untouchable. All right. He came forth, you know, humble, you know, the, the first time around. But guess what? The scriptures say in Isaiah 47, I should not meet thee as a man. All right. So Yahweh Shai is coming back. The conqueror is coming back, man. So that being said, I want to say call along la Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And Lord's will, I can you edify through the spirit and private Yahweh Shai. With that being said, Shalom.